I have a Santarian C4 Area Warrior and it has the fix tab on the back and I wanted to change it to a controllable trim tab. So I've designed in CAD everything from uh, aluminum. It's uh, laser cut and then bent um, and everyone can assemble it at home. It only needs a few screws. The actuator, it's a Bennett hydraulic to bolt electric conversion kit. And you can see it here in the up position. It goes up to eight degrees and down 13 degrees. One important thing I realized when I designed that is that the water pressure will make this plate bow and uh, will transfer all the force to the hinge here and may create a um, lock in it, basically make it lock. So I added this uh, support here. You can see this, then this bracket will take the bending force of the trim tab plate and prevent the hinge from getting locked up. And um, I submitted everything to be laser cut and bent. And after two weeks, it showed up in a box and everything is uh, ready to be assembled. Uh, you see here, all the parts are laser cut finished and just need some uh, countersink drilling and some assembly. So you can see all the parts here. The only part that I bought off of eBay is the hinge. This is uh, called a piano hinge. It's uh, stainless steel. And the one thing you do have to be careful is that those things are not symmetrical. So you do have to make sure how you assemble them. Um, this support that I just showed you um, makes everything a little stronger. And um, this is the part that goes on the back of your boat instead of the original one. Now, if you look here, the screws will stick out if you just put them this way. So what you have to do is uh, countersink all of them. And that cannot be done in the uh, laser process. So you can't really order them this way, at least not the part I ordered my parts from. And um, you will just have to do it at home. Um, there are uh, drill bits for that. You can buy them for probably under 10 bucks at the uh, Harbor Freight. You can see this. Uh, they come in a few different sizes. You have to countersink all the holes. Most of them are the same size. It's all number 10 screws and the four that goes into the boat are bigger. So just use a bigger uh, drill bit for that. So I'll uh, take it to uh, countersink them and I'll show you how to assemble this. So here I did all the uh, countersinking and now you can see that they'll sit flash with the uh, tab itself. And that's important because everything that you put into the water, if it sticks just a little bit, you'll see it um, behind the boat. It will create an interference with the water. So make sure they are really flush with the uh, plate itself. So put all the screws in and now we'll start assembling this thing. So I did not go cheap on the number of screws. There are quite a lot of them, but uh, they were pretty small. They're, as I said, all number uh, 10 screws. Obviously make sure they're all stainless steel. You don't want to put anything but stainless steel here. And a nice uh, trick to do here is uh, put all your uh, screws in and uh, then tape them so they don't fall out when you flip uh, your trim tab. So as you can see, I just use uh, regular painter's tape so it doesn't leave any glue on that. You flip them and then you can uh, take um, the hinge, for example, put it on top of that, make sure it fits and start just uh, laying down your nuts. This is the support. It just prevents this whole thing from bending from the uh, water pressure on that. This one goes to the actuator and it comes with the bento hydraulic to bolt conversion kit. So it will be included. You do not need to buy it. As you can see here, I bought a whole bunch of uh, number 10 um, stainless, um, lock tight or sorry lock nylock um, nuts 
so they don't start opening from the vibrations and obviously you can't get them too tight here because all that's holding this screw is the painter's tape on the back so just start them by hand and then later on you can close them uh, tight from the back but at least this way when you just start the, them by hand they won't fall once you lift everything up For the actuator, you will have to buy countersink screws. Uh, it does not come with them. It comes with uh, either uh, top screws or uh, simple wood screws. So you will have to purchase these separately. You can use the same nuts. If I remember correctly, those are a quarter inch. And as you can see, I tighten them as much as I can with just the uh, tape holding them on the back side. And then I'll uh, just flip them and give them a nice uh, tightening when I can reach both sides. But at least this way, I have them all positioned. Now, this is an important part. Since this does have a direction because of the hinge, you got to make sure that you put it in the right direction. You see, that was not the right direction. So this is the right direction. You can see it because the gap on both sides is the same. And I'm marking that as being the top. So I know not to countersunk on the wrong side. And I'm also marking where I should countersunk those screws. And I'll start with number 10 screws so I can fit them in and make sure that they all are nice and flush with the aluminum. Now, this is the crazy part. This is the original one, original uh, tab from the boat. And you can see that the holes are not really lining up. And this is just the really bad quality control on the Centurion boat manufacturer. On the boat, they're actually pretty good but you see that the holes here are not and this all the spacing is are equal i can guarantee that because this is done in cad and was cut by laser so definitely uh, they are equal spaced and i measured that and i've noticed that problem before but that's what it is but uh, even though the plate is off the boat seems to be on and it did work so after some uh, work on that you can see i uh, Created all the uh, countersunk to these uh, screws and uh, if I fit them you can see they're uh, absolutely uh, flush and that's that's what I wanted to get to I really don't want any water interference and um, now we can uh, take all these and uh, go and uh, work on the boat now uh, before we assemble that to the boat let me show you what you need to do here this is the part that uh, goes on the top and holds the, uh, the actuator. Uh, same thing here, just um, drill the backside and uh, assemble the uh, actuator uh, bracket there that comes with it. Uh, these are same thing, you need to buy these uh, screws and uh, you will have to assemble uh, this with the supplied screw so you don't have to buy that and it comes a uh, screw washer, washer, and then another nut that is a nylon locked nut. So don't over tight this because this is plastic and you really don't want the uh, friction there. It just needs to be kind of held in place so it doesn't uh, fall out, but it really doesn't have any support, uh, literal support from the uh, screw. So just don't uh, close it uh, until you penetrate this uh, nylon uh, locking part of the uh, nut and that should be enough don't don't go too crazy on that because you will just damage the parts once you get this uh, nice and uh, snug not tight again you can assemble that into the arm now you will have to assemble the, the bracket into the 
the aluminum bucket in the plastic bucket before you put it on the boat because you have no way to hold it from the back and make sure the screws will not rotate. Um, I probably could have used different screws, but I really wanted them to be flush with the aluminum part so they don't uh, scratch the boat or anything. So um, you'll have to do it this way. Just a little inconvenience, but uh, not the end of the world. Uh, it is a little challenging to hold these nuts um, on the front side. Uh, the back is just regular Phillips, or you can use a uh, hex uh, if you really want to, or Allen. Now, this is the part where you get to the boat. So first thing, take your swim platform off, and that'll both make it easy to reach and to work on. Um, this is your uh, original tab. You will have to remove that. So this is pretty straightforward. You just have to remove the pins. Once you remove those uh, pins, you just uh, release the uh, support that they come with. And then you have to open the screws under the boat. There are four of them um, and they are glued with a little bit of silicone. That silicone is there to prevent water from penetrating into your boat through these holes. So you do have to put it back when you assemble the, uh, the new plate, but you don't have to put too much. I'll show you when we get there. So take all four nuts out and this whole thing will just get completely free. Um, it may need some work. Uh, if, if you do get the silicone to hold it, just press on it a little bit, very lightly, and it will slowly peel off. So the next step you want to do is remove this support here. Um, and that is just the support that holds your swim platform. And we're using that to both support the swim platform, but also support the trim tabs. Now here I'm assembling um, the new bracket and as i said before don't forget to put some silicone so you see here put some silicone and then close it i just started the screws before and now i'm closing them tight um you see here don't forget silicone and you can just you just need to put silicone where the screws go you don't have to go crazy and so close them don't completely tighten all of them go one by one don't over tight and once they are all in and aligned, then you can give them a nice um, dining. You don't have to go crazy with that. So tighten the screws and make sure everything is flush. And now we're gonna go to the next part of assembling the uh, trim tab itself. Um, you probably wanna get someone to help you here because you both need to get everything uh, line and you need to put the uh, screw from the bottom and the nut from the top which is a little tricky so as you can see here you can do it yourself but if you can find someone to help you that will make uh, that job much easier and less time consuming uh, what i did i only placed uh, two of the screws uh, one on each corner and uh, started the nut there so I can get um, something to hold it in place and you can do the rest of the uh, screws later on. Uh, don't completely tighten that. So if it's uh, not sitting right, you can still insert the rest of the screws, but everything is uh, pretty accurate as far as the whole alignment. So you shouldn't have an issue here. So you can see it does have some movement and that's enough. And uh, now we'll go and uh, Assemble the actuator holder and the actuator itself. This is replacing what was there before and this bracket will both hold the swim platform and your actuator. So I used a little bit of uh, silicone uh, sheet there, uh, but you can just use regular silicone and just apply it to the holes and all you're trying to prevent is from water penetrating into your boat. Um, this piece is also giving it a little bit of protection to the paint, but uh, that was not there originally. I've added that. And, uh, you can, or you can just use uh, regular silicone. Now, these screws go a little bit, uh, each one, don't tight one and then the other, because you may uh, 
create damage. So just go a little bit, a few turns on each one until it goes in. And if something uh, catches there, then go back and do it uh, manually. Now we'll have to uh, connect the bottom part. Um, and this one is unfortunate, uh, not the best design from this um, bracket piece, the plastic bracket. I can't really do anything about it because this is how it comes from the store. But you will have to remove one of the uh, screws and you will have to make it line up. You see, if I'm trying to put the screw in, it will not um, go in. Uh, that's just because the arm is a little bit rotated. And uh, you need, just need to rotate it back. So put a screwdriver through it and uh, move it to the right location. And then your screw should just go right in. And again, it goes uh, screw, washer, washer, and then the nut. And uh, as before, don't over tight that. Just give it enough uh, turns until it uh, penetrate uh, the nylon part of the nut and that's enough to prevent it from kind of rolling back out. Um, after you assemble this, you have to put back the screw and the nut that holds this uh, bracket uh, to the trim tab itself. Um, and that uh, is pretty straightforward, nothing really to it and that's it. Um, as you can see, I'm still missing the uh, screws on the back that I didn't put all of them yet. I'll assemble them and then we can uh, test this uh, thing. So just to show you that everything works, I didn't put the rest of the screws on, but you can see that it's moving down. And you can see that I, if I reverse the polarity on the actuator, it will move uh, up. I didn't uh, put in the video how to wire that. I'm sure that uh, everyone can manage uh, two wires. It's just uh, positive polarity or negative polarity that moves it up and down. Now, this is kind of my uh, quality check. I made sure that it's uh, moving the correct degrees up and down so I don't have too much travel. And I wanted to make sure that the CAD um, is correct with the actual um, assembly on the boat. If I would have missed any of the measurement that I took from the boat, that would have caused the plate to uh, move uh, too much up or too much down, depending on the direction. And uh, I measured that I, I did miss by like half a degree, but overall, overall this was um, pretty accurate. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I will share the files in the description and some information on how to use that. Uh, just remember, this is not including the holes for the uh, hinge. You will need to uh, get a hinge and then drill the holes according to that specific one. Unfortunately, I found that each one is a little different and it's going to be useless if I'll do that. So please uh, like and subscribe and thank you for watching.